Brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, we are expecting to enter to the month of Ramadan within a, a few hours, inshallah, or maximum tomorrow evening. Either this evening or tomorrow evening. We'll be confirmed within the Asr time. Hopefully, inshallah, something will be very clear. So this month of Ramadan is the biggest ni'mah in our life. Uh, if it is in our uh, uh, tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we will get this Ramadan and will be given tawfiq to complete it and will be given tawfiq of ibadah. This is the real achievement. This is the real something big to achieve. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to congratulate the uh, sahaba in this month of Ramadan and he'll be motivating them from the starting of the Ramadan. He will say, oh people, the month of Ramadan appeared. It came. It is a blessed month. Allah made obligatory fasting of this month, and in this month all gates are done, are closed. No one single gate is open, remain, remains open, and all gates of hellfire is closed. Not a single gate remains open, and shayatins are chained up. And this, in this month, a night is, it is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of this month's goodness and this night's goodness, He's deprived of all goodness. He will be congratulating. Shahrul Mubarak. This is congratulations, full of blessing. And the Ahlul Alam, the scholars said, this hadith is asal fi tahniyat al-nas ba'dahum ba'dan bi shahr Ramadan. This hadith is a basis of congratulating people, uh, you know, when Ramadan comes. And we start this month of Ramadan by seeing the moon sight or getting the news of moon sighting. Once moon sighting news came to us, what there is a dua, we try to say that. And that is uh, in the hadith, Talha ibn Ubaidullah radiallahu anhu narrates, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kana idha ra'a al-hilal, qal. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was seeing the moon, after sighting the new moon, of Ramadan, he will say, Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amn wal iman wa salamat wal islam, Rabbi wa Rabbuka Allah, hilala rushdin wa khayr. O Allah, let this month, let this moon appear on us with security and iman, with safety and islam. O moon, your Lord and mine is Allah. May this moon bring in guidance and good to us. This is the beginning of Ramadan, once you see the new moon or hear the news of the new moon sighting. So brothers and sisters, we hope and pray that Allah will give us tawfiq. There is no guarantee of another hour for our, anybody's life. But we hope and pray that since it is so close, may Allah extend our life to get it. And we must be thanking Allah, appreciating His favor upon extending our life to get another Ramadan, while we know many of our close friends, beloved one, we lost them during the last year, who are in Ramadan with us in last year. They are no more with us. We have been praying Janaza all this week, many people Janaza, very close to Ramadan, but they miss it for one week or a couple of days only. Even People will be dying within today and yesterday and will be praying their janaza again. So there is no guarantee for anyone. However, we can pray and hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, we are reaching Ramadan, not only reaching Ramadan, we are completing it with the full tawfiq of Allah. And this good news of this month, so many ahadiths give virtues of the month of Ramadan and the fasting and the qiyamul layl. In hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man saama Ramadan iman wa ihtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqadama min zambi, who fast the month of Ramadan with iman and ihtisab, his previous sins will be forgiven. O man qama Ramadan iman wa ihtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqadama min zambi, the one who uh, made qiyamul layl pray night prayer during the month of Ramadan uh, with iman and ihtisab. What iman and ihtisab is, I'm going to explain later. Uh, his Previous sins will be forgiven. And another hadith, Man qama laylat al-qadr, imanan ihtisaban, ghufira lahu ma taqadda ma yudambi, whoever 
during Qiyamul Layl in the night of uh, Laylat al Qadr, night of decree, he, with the Iman al Ihtisaban, his previous sins will be forgiven. All these came. So, Iman al Ihtisab mean Iman believing in Allah and His Messenger. What the mention of the reward and virtue of this month, believing this. And Ihtisaban meaning Ihtisab al Adr min Allah. We are very optimistic, hopeful. Are asking Allah with pure, sincere intention to give us this huge reward which He mentioned about fasting and Qiyamul Layl and Laylatul Qadr. So, coming now, brothers and sisters, that just fasting will not secure all this achievement. Just fasting will not secure. Fasting has two aspects physical and spiritual. And physical one we know, abstaining from three things not eating, non drinking, not having the intimacy, husband and wife. This physical one. But the spiritual one is much more. And about the spiritual one is to avoid all sinful acts. In hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, as Jannah. The fasting is a shield. وَإِذَا كَانَ صَوْمُ أَحَدِكُمْ فَلَا يَرْفُثُ وَلَا يَسْخَبْ فَإِنْ سَابَهُ أَحَدُنَا وَقَاتَلَهُ فَلْيَقُلْ إِنِّي مُرْءٌ سَائِمْ If somebody of you is fasting, then make him he is away from all filthy and indecent things and also not committing sin and not shouting, screaming and fighting and you know, debating if anybody is coming to engage with him with this kind of debate and argument and fighting, let him to tell him to say, I am fasting brother, I am fasting. And that's why in the hadith he said also, رُبَّ صَائِمِ الْحَظُّهُ مِنْ صَوْمِهِ الْجُوعُ الْعَطَشِ there will be some fasting people, their portion from the fasting will be only hunger and you know, thirst. And some of the people who will be praying long night, their portion will be only uh, from that Qiyamul Layl is uh, just not sleeping. Nothing more they will achieve because they are, you know, have sincerity, neither focusing to get it from Allah, just a formality, a ritual they are doing without realizing what they are doing, without that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why some of the scholars say, uh, all about the salaf, ahwan al-siyami tarku ta'ami wa sharab. A very easy fasting is to abstain from food and drink and intimacy. But the main one is the spiritual one. That said, Jabir radiallahu anhu, idha sumta fal yasum sam'unka basaruk wa lisanuk anil kathibi wal maharim. وداع هذا الجار وليكن عليك سكينة ووقار يوم صومك ولا تجعل يوم صومك يوم فطرك سواء. He said صلى الله عليه رضي الله عنه that when you are fasting make sure your eyes are fasting your hearing is your hearing is fasting okay your tongue is fasting from all lies and haram talks and if somebody of your neighbor is causing so much trouble to you just avoid it abstain from engaging from him. And make sure you are, uh, you know, in, in, in a mood of honoring Allah's fasting by uh, controlling it all organs. Don't make your fasting day and other days are uh, equal. Make fasting days special. So this one is difficult fasting. Just not to eat is easy fasting. But and sisters would like to conclude with some of the adab of the masjid to enter, especially for the sisters. Yes, sisters are allowed to come to pray and they must be allowed, there must be facility available uh, if there is uh, an opportunity not to deprive them. But Rasulullah sallallahu said, fasting of the women is better, sorry, uh, the praying of the women is better in their home than coming to the masjid. One of the Sahabi radiallahu anna, she said, Ya Rasulullah, I would like to, I love to pray behind you, Ya Rasulullah. He says, of course I know that you, you like that. But believe me, your prayer at your home is much better than praying in the masjid. So keep all ahadiths, don't say to one, one direction to abandon another one. They're allowed to come to the masjid. But their prayer at home is better. And number three, they must come with proper hijab, covering all their beauties from non-mahram men. Full hijab. If you compromise with the hijab and use perfume to come, you'll be committing sin, sister. After hearing this hadith, 
that sahabi radiallahu anha she decided not to come and she has fixed a room in her uh, in a small room in her corner of the house and she was praying whole night until death in that room because she rasulullah sallallahu alaihi said that it is not my opinion or anybody else's opinion it is the words of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also i would like to draw your attention sisters if you bring your children small kids babies they are crying all the time how you can focus in your salah tell me sister it is not you fight for your right only it is your salah salah is al khushu' how much you can focus so if you are not able to focus in your salah neither other sisters around you all of them will be having so much bad feeling about you that's why you need to be very calculated why are you gain more is not you fight for your right you want to achieve high how you achieve high that should be our goal and target may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq